Data models and access patterns for Gen AI applications often rely on vector embeddings to represent data semantically. Whereas traditional databases store data in structured formats, Gen AI applications often deal with unstructured data like text, images, audio, and even code. These require a way to capture the meaning and relationship within the data, not just the raw data itself. And this is where semantic representation comes in. A vector embedding is a way to convert something like a word, sentence, or even an image into a list of numbers, or a vector. This vector is like a point in a multi-dimensional space, and they're designed so that the distance and the direction between them capture the semantic relationships. This allows AI models to understand concepts like similarity, analogy, and context. For example, Imagine you're building a Gen AI application that can answer questions about animals. Traditionally, you might store information about these animals in a traditional database with rows and columns. When a user asks which animals are carnivores, you would need to write a SQL query to filter the column that lists whether the animal is an herbivore or a carnivore. Although this works, it's limited in its understanding of the relationship between animals. Another option is to convert each animal into a vector embedding that captures semantic meaning of the animal based on its characteristics and relationships to other animals. Now, you can search for similar animals by calculating the distance between one animal vector and all other animal vectors in your database. However, you need a database that will support this. And that's where AlloyDB, Spanner, or Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL come in. These databases are optimized for vector search and similarity matching. For example, Cloud SQL, Spanner, and AlloyDB integrate with Vertex AI, Google's machine learning platform, to simplify model training, deployment, and integration with their foundation models for your generative AI app. With this integration, you can also use an embedding model to translate text prompts into numerical vectors to use in vector-based operations. Other databases that may work well depending on the scale and structure of your data include BigQuery for large datasets and complex SQL, and Firestore for unstructured or semi-structured data, real-time updates, and offline capabilities.